Hey guys, so this is uh, Pilot and Command here, and today I wanted to show y'all how to set up turtle mode using the KISS uh, flight controllers. Uh, a few months ago, uh, I flew KISS, really liked it. However, as time went on, I realized that turtle mode wasn't working properly, and I just couldn't get it to work properly. And since I really, I really like turtle mode. For me, it's kind of an investment saver because if I crash somewhere that maybe I can't physically climb to, I want to be able to um, get the quad back. So because I didn't have uh, turtle mode, I switched back to um, uh, butterfly and flew that for a while. And then this week, kind of did a little research, just seeing um, if other people had had success um, trying to figure out the issues that I've been having. And I came across a GitHub page that's to kind of say like, hey, if you want Turtle Mode to work on KISS, do these steps. I did those steps and um, it ended up working out. So um, I have uh, KISS Turtle Mode properly, like the quad will go into Turtle Mode and it won't freak out um, in the air when you kind of go back and fly it normally. So I just wanted to show you all how to get it um, set up in a video. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your KISS FC into DFU mode. That's pretty easy. Um, also, okay, before I get into that, we're not going to be focusing on the KISS uh, V2 because I don't own that flight controller. I only own the KISS V1. So that's the one we're going to be focusing on. However, the GitHub article said that this should work for both KISS V2 and V1. So... First things first, we're going to put the quad into DFU mode. So on the KISS V1, instead of there being pads here, there's a button. So you're going to want to press and hold that button, plug in the flight controller. So once it's in DFU mode, it should come into this screen. You're going to go to select remote firmware, go to uh, KISS FC, and so firmware version, you're going to select uh, 1.3 RC30. Select that. You're going to go to download firmware. It's going to download and do its thing. And then you're going to press flash. I'm not going to press flash here because I've already ha I already have this um, uh, on my flight controller. So just take my word for it. After you flash your the firmware, you're going to disconnect your USB cable. And then you're going to uh, reconnect the flight controller to your computer. Now, when you click uh, connect, uh, you're going to get this uh, warning screen, and it's going to say "Kiss Flight Controller not activated." There's going to be a bit. There's going to be a big button that says "Activate Now." You're going to press that. Make sure you have an internet connection, otherwise it won't work. So once you press um, "Activate Now," you're going to you're going to be directed to uh, this screen, um, but just none of this is going to be. So there, there, you'll have default PIDs, but none of your AUX functions will be set up, and this will look slightly different. Um, before you do anything, you're going to, instead of it, there being a save button right here, it's going to say save settings. Just press save, and now your um, flight controller is activated, and you can set it up. I'm not going to go through my setup um, in this video, I could do that in another one if people want me to. In fact, I probably I probably will do a basic KISS GUI walkthrough in the near future. But anyway, so go over here to your AUX functions. This is kind of like the, mo this is your modes tab in Betaflight. This is, does the same thing. You're gonna set up an arm switch. So for me, I have my arm switch, I have my arm switch set up on AUX1. And when that switch is in its, when I have it in, the, in, in a low position, um, you're gonna, I have this set to low, and then for turtle mode, I have aux 3, and that is set to, um, high. These just corresponds to, uh, where that switch is on the, um, on the transmitter. But anyway, so once you have that set up, uh, you're pretty much done. However, don't, don't check this box. This buzzer emulation, this is the uh, the D-Shot buzzer, basically. this If you click this, um, your motors will beep when you set up a uh, beeper. It, it, like I said, it, it's the D-Shot motor buzzer. The problem with this is, is that this does something, I guess, 
to the flight controller and it kind of prevents your motors from going into the proper total mode. So yeah, don't click this and yeah, you're pretty much done. Turtle mode will work um, properly. Um, the only downside to this is that you can't use the D-Shot buzzer, which in honestly, that doesn't really bother me because if I want to find my quad, I'll just put it in turtle mode and um, kind of just move the stick a little bit. I won't like, you know, hold the stick in a single position because I don't want to burn up the, uh, you know, a motor or an ESC or something because the motor can't turn. Um, but um, I can just kind of, but if I just tap the stick in a little direction, usually I'll, I'll hear the motor spinning and I can um, find the quad. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this helped y'all. All right. Um, if you, so if you want to run KISS, uh, but maybe you are feeling a little intimidated by it or um, you know how to get turtle mode set up properly, now you know. So thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.